Hi everyone, good morning. I'm making a blog for my website right now. And the blog is about if you are plateauing, how to get unstuck. Here's why. Here's why you're plateauing. I'm Steph Hendel from stephhendel.com and I work with women specifically who have done diet and fitness programs and either haven't gotten results or got results and have not been able to maintain them. So I utilize the power of your mind, your thoughts, your beliefs, the words you use, your truths, um, and we knock nim the limiting beliefs out of the way. So, you know, if you're feeling, if you're doing all the right things and you're going to the gym, you're logging the hours at the gym, you're eating healthy food, you're really making an effort, you even chose a salad the other day when you went out to eat other than getting the burger or whatever it may be, you're really actually putting in work. But you're not getting results, you're plateauing, or you're just not getting any results at all, and you've been doing, you've been at this for a long, long time. Here's what might be happening. Actually, before I talk about here's what might be happening, let's walk through a scenario that you might feel right now. Like, this is how I used to feel. I would walk past the mirror, and you would either have, I would either have one or two reactions. One would be, damn, I look good, checking myself out, right? Two, the more common one in the past, I usually get result number one now where I go, damn, I look good, yes. Result two from the past was that I would just shut my eyes, ugh, put my head down, and feel so much frustration, guilt, shame, and I would start being really mean to myself. I'd start having negative thoughts that would affect me the rest of the day, the whole rest of the day. I'd, I'd say things to myself like, you know, you must not be able to get results. Like, what's wrong with you? You are you need to work out harder. You need to eat better. You need to do more of this, more of that. Blah, 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 blah. All the mean negative things that honestly are not true. And I'd build up these beliefs all day long. Here's what happens. At some point, if that goes on and you start to go into your head and you start to believe a lot of negative things, you build up an association of what is true, what your truth is, what your beliefs are. And that belief is no matter how hard I work out or how good I eat, I never lose weight. And that can be really damning. If that's what you believe, then that goes into your subconscious mind. And when it's in your subconscious mind, then it just plays over and over without you even realizing or recognizing that it's happening and when it's playing over and over it allows you to not lose weight so if you subconsciously truly believe that every time you put in effort it doesn't work then yes your mind is going to create that to be your truth and that's going to be what happens to you and you'll self-sabotage yourself your mind is so powerful honestly what it believes it creates and if you notice yourself for real self-sabotaging, then you have a lot of these beliefs built up. And all the women I come across, just when I meet day to day or when I work with, I see the layers of the onion for them. They have layers upon layers upon layers of beliefs about what health is, what fitness is, what nutrition is for them. And 99.9% .9 of them are false yet they believe them to be true and they hold them back and they're damning them from actually getting the results that they want. And I hate to see this. I really hate it because this was me. This was me for so long and I was so frustrated for such a long time with not being able to get the results that I wanted. And you know, once I figured out what was actually happening that I had all these beliefs layered up, then I got the results that I wanted and it was easier than I ever thought possible. So how do you get started? One is awareness. So you have to be aware of the negative beliefs that you hold. To do that, I suggest to get out a journal. Just journal, 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 and then journal some more. <laughs> Never stop journaling. You have to figure out what these blocks are. You have to unpeel the onion. You have to remove and replace with new, better, beliefs. When you do that, you are going to see your body transform and you're going to see it transform fast with not a lot of effort. Yes, you're still going to want to be active. You're still going to want to eat good, healthy foods, but you're going to want to eat them because you want to, not because you have to. And 
it's going to be a lot more simple to do it because think about this if you constantly believe that that can't happen then you're going to do whatever it takes to self-sabotage yourself which might might be binge eating it might be overeating it might be any one of a million things we do to self-sabotage but it always ends up happening it's going to maybe get loud because we have an airplane overhead but I'm pretty much wrapping up what I have to say anyway that's my blog post for the day if you want to read more about that just go to my website stephhendel.com and I'll have all that up there plus this video and I'm sending it out to all my newsletter subscribers so you guys are getting a little exclusive there um, if you aren't on the list make sure you go to stephhendel.com sign up make sure you get on there you'll also get uh, awesome bonus which is an audio training where I talk about the missing piece for myself when I went from um, overweight to losing 30 pounds really quickly and really easily so it's pretty awesome I hope you have an amazing magical day believe in yourself know that you're great know that you're worth it know that you deserve this and know that you don't have to self sabotage yourself anymore you just get these beliefs out of the way and that's it all right I love you expect great things to happen today bye